The name Jack is believed to have originated as a diminutive form of John from medieval times. It was originally Jackin and earlier Jankin, but over time became the name Jack we know today. Since then, Jack has gone on to become one of the most consistently popular boys' names. In fact, it's such a popular name that Jack has become somewhat synonymous with male kind as a whole, with phrases like Jack of all trade, and of course the unknown killer of London was simply dubbed Jack the Ripper. It's such a popular name that variations of it have emerged. Jake is thought to be a form of Jack, and Jackson is a name that means son of Jack, and of course a female version of the name have appeared too like Jackie and Jacqueline. Even just Jack as it is can be a female name too. And with Jack being a popular name it means that many famous figures have bore the name, from celebrities like Jack Nicholson and Jack Black to characters of fiction like Jack Skellington and Jack and the Beanstalk. However perhaps the most famous Jack isn't a person at all, but rather a flag. Not only is it the flag of my home nation, but it also currently features in the flags of Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii, the British Antarctic Territory, Falkland Islands, Cook Islands, St Helena, Ascension Islands, Tuvalu, Fiji, Bermuda, Turks and Caicos, Niue, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Anguilla, the British Indian Ocean Territory, Montserrat, Pitcairn Islands, Tristan da Cunha and South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. This is of course the Union Jack. I feel the Union Jack is one of the most recognisable flags we as humans have made, but maybe that's just me being British myself. The design and history of this flag is very much represented in the first part of its name, Union. Countries being united together is key to the history of these islands. Hey, United is even in the United Kingdom's name. The United Kingdom is a union of the home nations of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, and this flag is a union of the crosses of St Andrew of Scotland, St George of England and St Patrick of Ireland. When it was first introduced in 1606, it was known as the British flag, as it only represented the Union of Scotland and England, the nations on the island of Britain. You will notice that Wales isn't represented on the Union Jack, and there's a story to that. My friend Soliloquy has a great video on why Wales isn't represented on the Union Jack, which you should go check out. Now, that might explain the first part of the Union Jack's name, but what about the latter part, Jack? First off, should this actually be Jack? There's a long-held debate here in Blighty that this flag should only be called the Union Jack when it's on a ship. In any other instance of the flag being flown, it should be referred to as a Union flag. From what I can gather is that this conundrum was once true when the flag was introduced, but over the years this naming rule has become more relaxed. The Flag Institute even states that in 1902 it was decided that officially either name could be used. So if you call it a Union Jack and someone smugly tells you that you should be calling it a Union flag, just tell them to stop living in the past. My theory on the matter is that if everyone is calling it the Union Jack, it's called the Union Jack. Now that we are in agreement that we can call this a Union Union Jack, we can properly look into the latter half of this name. Simply put, why Jack? Was it named after someone called Jack? Well, one idea points to it being named after an actual Jack. Well, by Jack I mean a James. That James being King James I, who formed the initial union between Scotland and England in 1603. If there's anyone who the flag would be named after, he would be the most likely candidate. Though, like I said, he was called James, not Jack, and the flag isn't called a Union James. The next idea is one that I feel is a little bit of a stretch but it's coming from the official royal family website so who am I to question my rulers? It comes from the fact that the design of the flag would have been worn on the uniforms of English and Scottish soldiers. It would have been worn on their jack. It's. Yep, one of the theories from Her Majesty herself is that the Jack in Union Jack is a shortening of jacket, which I guess is an idea, though one that might seem a bit of a stretch, at least it seems it is to me anyway. The most recognised idea as to how this name came to be relates back to that initial argument that it should only be called the Union Jack on a ship, and that's because it's thought that the Jack in Union Jack doesn't relate to a king or a piece of clothing, but rather simply refers to a Jack. I know that might sound a little bit underwhelming, but hear me out. Jack is a word that has many meanings as well well as being a given name. Wikipedia states that Jack is a word we apply to inanimate objects when they are small versions of an object, so a small flag became known as a Jack flag. Eventually a Jack flag referred specifically to the flag that is flown at the front of a ship, usually on a specific pole now known as a Jack staff. So when the flag to represent Britain and then the UK was flown on ships it was used as a Jack, eventually becoming seen so often in this way that became known as the Union Jack. The Jack representing the Union. The Union's Jack. So which Jack is the Union Jack named after? Well simply put it's named after a Jack, as in a Jack flag. So if you are thinking if you should call it a Union Jack or a Union flag, then remember, a Jack is a flag, so these names pretty much mean the exact same things. 
Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just the small amount of $2 a month helps out in a huge way, grants you Patreon exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.